like I have a watch. I don't have a watch. It's my rosary bracelet. Look at bothers. Hello, hello. Hanging out for a minute here. Oh goodness. Wow, that's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. Oh, oh, what the? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. Uh, hey friends, what's going on? 2,200 of you. Uh, I think I remember a few years ago, it was like 50 in total. And a few hundred, and then like, you know, um, let's see how many of you stick it out. Because <laughs> we gonna pray. We gonna pray today, okay? Uh, a few of you caught the little story that I posted. Basically saying, uh, I'm starting a little novena, which is a nine-day prayer for all of you non-Catholics. Welcome, welcome. Um, it's a nine-day prayer, uh, usually with a an intention set aside we believe in a cloud of witnesses that uh, heaven is alive and full of spirits and spirits that are powerful thing people that can pray for you uh, you don't have to agree uh, it's not your station it's not your channel you don't have to agree with me uh, you can unfollow me because you think I believe it that way uh, that's fine I, it's it's uh, I've heard a lot worse so uh, at this point I'm very comfortable doing what I do um, I'm very open and welcoming to anyone who wants to join me um, the more, the merrier. Um, these prayers are prayers that I started years ago during the pandemic, three years ago. I started praying a number of different devotions that I knew. Um, over the years, I've adopted spontaneous prayer as well. But these are very powerful devotions that are um, uh, some of them decades old, some of them, you know, 70, 100, almost 100 years old. Uh, some of the prayers I've prayed uh, in the past are centuries old. Uh, but it's all part of our great tra tradition as Christians. Uh, and then specifically now as Catholics, some of these prayers. So I offer them in, a, um, in an effort to, uh, to, to amplify and um, uh, stockpile your own um, um, weapons shed of prayers, your arsenal of prayers. And uh, many people have um, have had peace, have had the release of anxiety, have had um, prayers answered, all sorts of miraculous things um, uh, with some of these prayers that we prayed over the years. So um, this week, I just thought it might be um, especially fruitful to pray for the success of Jesus Revolution, the film that I have coming out next week. Why? Uh, this sounds self-serving and contrary to what prayer is about. Well, um, the reason why I want Jesus' revolution to be successful, um, number one, because it's a good film, but um, actually that's number two. Uh, number one, be well, no, no, number one, it's a good film. Number two, because it's a good film, it has the power to impact people in a way that they may not be anticipating. It has a, the power to e evangelize and bring more souls to Jesus um, uh, as a result of it being a successful film. Um, it's a good film, and I think if it's successful, then more people will see it. Therefore, more people will be exposed to the, the, the name, the authority, the morality, the ethics of Christ. And, uh, and then that sort of helps me fulfill my part as an artist working in um, this industry, trying to shed a little more light. So, what is divine mercy? Well, it's, a, it's not a very long set of prayers, um, but it's a powerful set of prayers. And it's basically a meditation on the death and resurrection, uh, on the, on the, um, the, uh, the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ. I'm just going to pull something up here. Um, it's a little paragraph that puts it together. 
much better than I can. So, um, divine mercy is God's love reaching down to meet the needs and overcome the miseries of his creatures. Yeah, so that is essentially, in a nutshell, what we're going to do. So, let's get to work. As always, we begin with the first prayer, which is the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls in the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is the fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. intentions to you today as we begin these prayers. We ask that um, our film humbly goes before you to proclaim your name to the world so that more may come to you in spirit and truth, seeking truth, beauty, and goodness, and finding it through faith in you for belief in you, for a relationship with you. And so we ask that this Friday when our film releases that culture is changed forever through the impact of the message of this film. In Jesus' name we pray. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. It's a little rosary here. It's a rosalette. It's a bracelet. Now we pray on these beads. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the 
the sake of sorrow, compassion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, for of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrow and passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrow and passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrow and passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, 
Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And Lord, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Eternal God, and our mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray for us. Father Michael Sapochko, pray for us. All you holy angels and saints, pray for us. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In memory of Bishop David O'Connell, who was murdered, who was shot today, or was it? Yes, I'm not sure when exactly. Lord have mercy. Eternal rest grant unto Bishop O'Connell, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and all the souls of the dearly departed rest in peace. Amen. Pray for us, Lord. Do not abandon us in our hour of need. May so desperately need you here in the world now. Be with us. Be with us this week. As we follow the promptings of the Spirit. Bless those who are working abroad to help those in Turkey and Syria. Bless my brother Ben Fitzgerald and his team in awakening the Suf risk their lives to help other people. Bless all of my Catholic brothers and sisters, priests and nuns who do so much to bring the love of Christ and the light of Christ to so many. Bless all of my evangelical pastors and brothers and sisters in their mission to serve God. And Lord, may we serve you all as one body in unity of the Holy Spirit, God the Father, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the true beauty of this thing. stuck in. I am very proud of you guys. <laughs> and for those five or six hundred who left, eh, they're lost. What are you going to do? Um, as I promised in the post, um, God was all over this film. Some of you that may have seen the um, press that we've been doing this past week, it's been an exhausting week. It's been a tremendous week. I still have yet to post pictures from the premiere. Um, thank you for all those who've been praying for us. Thank you for all of you guys who uh, who have just been there supporting us every step of the way. And um, 
it's been quite a ride. Uh, I'm behind with a lot of the things that I wanted to post. Uh, subsequent to even the release of The Chosen, the season finale. Thank you guys for going to theaters. Holy mackerel, you made us in the top 10 box office and we don't even have like marketing. We didn't have any marketing for that. Uh, like you guys have been extraordinary. I'm, I'm so, I'm so proud and blessed to be a part of these projects that glorify God so, so uh, magnificently and um, so honored to have such devoted fans all over the world. Uh, Brazil, Canada, the Middle East, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, uh, Australia, New Zealand, Oceania. Um, you guys have been just phenomenal. And um, and it's really, for me, it's been such a journey. Uh, and and um, I've gotten such clarity with my mission as an artist, which is to really lead a life of impact. Entertainment's great. Entertainment is necessary as a distraction. But when we need, um, but what we need in our entertainment, uh, just as much as the distraction is the impact, the positive impact, the encouragement, the inspiration, the boldness, the faith of those working in the industry to encourage the next generation to come up and uh, lift up uh, our Lord and Savior's name and remind kids especially it's okay to love Jesus. It's okay to be vocal about it. Um, fight the power in that way. You know what I mean? Like, uh, just be who you are. And if you believe in Jesus, don't be afraid to say it. Don't be afraid. All right? So I can't be afraid. If you're not afraid to proclaim your faith in school or in universities or in public, then I can't be afraid to do it here in my life. And, and that's, that's where God is bringing me. So I wanted to tell you one of the, um, one of the mystical stories that happened while we were filming Jesus' Revolution. Actually, before we started filming, I was, um, I was praying in Southern California. I went to go visit Lonnie Frisbee's grave. Lonnie Frisbee, who I play in Jesus' Revolution, um, uh, is buried uh, in Southern California on the grounds of a church, uh, a Catholic church currently. It, it became, it was bought by the Catholic church several years ago, and then they redid it and it's beautiful. And so I went to, to visit his grave and pay my respects before we started filming, just to, uh, just to really kind of have a, a heart to heart spiritually and so I sat I sat by Lonnie's grave and I, I prayed a rosary and I prayed a chaplet and I said uh, you know Lonnie I, I've been praying to God that this this was the right move and he's made he's made a way forward for me to do this film where I at one point I didn't think there was going to be a way and so I've, I've done my research I've talked to people who knew you and I, I'm going to endeavor to tell your story as honestly and faithfully and as purely as I can and if if this, if you're on board with this, if you're good with what I'm about to do, give me a sign. And no sooner had the words left my mouth. Behind me there was a door that was open into the cathedral. When I said, give me a sign, immediately this organ chord rang out. <laughs> And I was like, okay. All right, then. We're good. I didn't hear that chord before I said those words. I didn't hear that chord after I said those words. <laughs> so, uh, I got more for you. But I'm going to close it out now. And, uh, Thank you so much for uh, for taking the time to pray with me. I've missed praying with you all. Uh, I'm, I'm more emboldened now than I ever have been. It's just a matter of time and energy. So uh, today's day four. We've got five more days. Uh, if I could jump on every day, I would, I will. I don't know that I will. Uh, I'll also try to give you more notice. I wanted to do it yesterday, but it just didn't happen. So. I'm going to try to give you uh, more notice. I might try to come on tomorrow. 
I don't know what time. I know some of you, it's the wee hours of the morning. Some of you, it's it's uh, mid-afternoon, early evening. Actually, in California, it's almost 5.30 p.m. So uh, if you're if you're in Australia, it's probably pretty early. Or is it in the afternoon? Was it 16 hours, 17 hours? One of you guys know. Anyway, so I might change up the times just to give, uh, uh, you know, people on the other side of the world a, a better opportunity. So uh, anyway, God bless you. I love you. Thank you for everything. And uh, we'll see you soon. Oh, yeah. Jesus Revolution. Uh, Friday, February 24th. Get your tickets. Help us out. Let us make this a win for the kingdom. In Jesus' name. Love you guys. Bye.